Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and good morning and happy Sunday. Happy Sunday morning or afternoon or evening whenever you are partaking of this video. Happy, happy, happy day for you all. And since it is Sunday, why don't we just relax, kick back, and just catch up on family time. If you haven't eaten your breakfast or your dinner or your supper, well supper is dinner for my mom, that's what she calls it, um, or lunch, uh, go on and partake of it and just have me playing in the background or put me on your big screen TV. Okay, and let's just go through this stuff. And I, girl, I didn't know, um, well, she was on Dish Nation, okay, and, uh, what's her name? Is that Lynn Whitfield? I don't know who the other young lady is, but, uh, yeah. Of course, she used to meet a lot of influ affluent people when she had businesses, uh, job opportunities as Dish Nation and Real Housewives of Atlanta, but <clears throat> I don't think too many people want to be seen with her right now because of that fiasco of that show she called herself putting out. So the only saving grace she has at this time is pretty much the Porsche, the pursuit of Porsche. Uh, and that's pretty much all she got that she's talking about, okay? And, of course, she's talking about her glorified boyfriend, uh, a.k.a. Simon Gabalia, but we know him as Flipperhead, Papa Smurf, or Father Time. Which one of them you want to use, be my guess. Alright, but that is the same damn outfit he wore at his birthday party this year. He wore the same outfit on Porsche's birthday party last year. Oh, Lord, I don't know what we're going to do with Simon. He just want to invest all his money in car collections and... And she, um, I'm still trying to figure out how he can be in a subdivision, a gated community, and he get to keep cars for other people, car sitting. You know what I'm saying? That's like babysitting or doing daycare at your, at your house. Don't you have to have a license for that, y'all? But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Uh, we just trying to show y'all he don't waste time on clothing. So I don't know what we're going to do with him. He, he's just not going to pull up. I guess he just rather have whatever little money he got in the bank. Which is probably more than mine, okay? He's going to put it out there. He probably balling better than me. Uh, but it just is what it is, okay? I'll make it do what it do. Uh, and I am no stranger to living paycheck to paycheck either, okay? So I've been in the struggle. I know what the struggle is, okay? Uh, but we're going to be talking about Portia Williams today. Because I've been hearing some things. And, you know, my family member called me early this morning. Yes, she did. She got up there in them comments and say, girl, Edra is what we call her. But we're going to call her Lady E because she part of my family over here. And she said, girl, I heard you talking about, um, what's her name, uh, Bu Buffy Parcell. And Buffy was going off on Instagram trying to call Portia out about her go naked hair. And she ain't got it and wear that. You know what I'm saying? I said, ooh, girl, you watched my video last night. She said, yes, I sure did. I said, girl, what you thought about it? She said, Portia's a scammer. I said, yeah, I told you she was. <laughs> But I was basically trying to hold out. But when somebody as influent as Buffy Parcell come through and say she ain't got her goods, we got to take that shit serious. So she said, girl, go on over there to the better, uh, we call it Better Business Bureau and research and put in uh, go naked hair. And um, you're going to see what I'm talking about, girl. It's, it's, a travesty. it's a travesty. It's just, it's not right for black folks to take uh, advantage of other black folks. I said, okay, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. So, of course, you know, I ate my breakfast first had a little talk with my mom my daughter you know my son-in-law but he's like my son <sighs> i said okay okay let me go on there and see what edra talking about Cause i know she's gonna call me back and if i ain't got my facts together if i ain't do what i told i told her i was gonna do she's gonna be on my ass and we don't want edra on our ass and we don't want her on our ass but we've got to think about okay now if we get all these people that have disagreements or, or disgruntled claims against Portia what we gonna do because you know she likes to put hands on folks you know what I'm saying 
But she said she went to anger management, so maybe she has a cool head for solving issues, okay? And then I don't know if she was trying to sell her body or lingerie in this video. Who knows? Because, you know, Portia just got on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was just trying to find herself and all these things, so she was trying out new avenues. But we did know that her sister Lauren got out the business of the Go Naked Hair. And after reading some of the shit that we saw, I said I could see why. It ain't really because Simon uh, wanted to marry her, which we still... In pursuit of Portia being married. Because uh, they hadn't come for to fruition. And they've been dating since uh, a year now. Let's see. Uh, April, May, June. And four, three months or something to that degree. And we know the reason why she put Mr. Kelly up in her book. Is for people to really go and buy it. That was just like a a, a buy-in type deal. to Because, you know, we, we want to see what she was talking about R. Kelly. We really wanted to see. But I could see why. Uh... Now I can see why uh, Lauren left the company. And uh, I wanted to do Nene, her big sister, with her hair. But okay, you know, there's Portia giving you this philosophy of how you should be doing. And, and, and don't worry about what the haters say and this, that, and the third. Well, we might not really worry about it, but we talk about it. Okay, and it does affect us, some people, in different kind of ways. All right. Um, we do know that. Portia has her ambassadors, and we did see, um, what's that, Drew Sedora wearing her hair, and, uh, that's weave also in Portia's hair, but we're wondering now, is that Portia's hair, you know, or what's going on, or is she giving her quality hair to other people, instead of the everyday working hard people, I mean, do we got two prices of hair going out for the same price, only Lauren could probably tell us the truth, but she probably would deny any type of interview or, or correspondence to that because she's going to try to protect her big sister, which she should. But she did a very good thing as getting out of under and getting out of the business with Portia with that go naked hair. Because from the readings, from the documents, from the uh, disgruntled patients, I mean, not patients, but consumers, uh, I would have got out too. So Lauren is doing a very good thing. Trying to build on her own. And using somewhat of a platform. That Real Housewives of Atlanta gave her. Because you know. They ain't trying to fool with Portia right now. Uh, they got too much on their plate. And I don't know. But see if you go to the Better Business Bureau. Where Edra. My family member told me to go. Uh, and Edra. I hope you're looking at this video. Because I did what you said you wanted me to do girl. I did my due diligence. And I had to find out the truth. Because we like truth over here. We don't like in the windows. We don't like speculations. We don't like lies. Okay. So when we find something that's like. <sighs> credible. We try to investigate it a little bit more. And we try to call out the people that are. Uh, definitely committing all these infractions amongst people. Now we know things happen. We ain't at the day to day operations all the time. Because we the, we the spokesperson. We the head of the whole kit and caboodle. So I don't really think that. Uh, and I tried to Google pa uh, Pamper Sheets by Portia. Nothing came up. Not saying it's not legit. But it, she just ain't got it running through. Maybe it's not an LLC. She didn't put it as her. I don't know if she trademarked that shit or not. I don't know. But you would think it would have came up there. Maybe I Googled the search wrong. Okay. Because uh, I was just playing with it. Since I had found Go Naked Hair. And I was like, okay, I got what Edra wanted me to get. And we're going to talk about it. Because that's what we do over the house. We talk about it. But she said, I can't wait till the whole family come. You're going to have to go on and do this now. So we can talk about it. That's okay. Okay, Edra. Okay. All right. But these are some of the disgruntled people. That got Portia's hair. They either got it and it came up messed up. She sold them a bunch of bullshit. Or they didn't get their product at all. And, you know, Buffy was already on Portia's ass. But she didn't get her stuff. She paid her money. She paid her coins, her dollars. But she ain't got her product. So, I don't know what, um, you know, transpired between that interaction. Uh, but I'm sure, I'm hoping, praying, wishing that Portia did right. And she would do right about these people. And as you can see, the disgruntlement goes into 2022. At least two of them were published. Then it goes into 2021. And I think it goes into 2020. So this may not be all of it. But this is the only thing that I could buy. And hopefully, you know, like I said, when you start a new company, you're pretty much 
treating it as a baby. You don't have no rules or regulations to really go by because you have to make up your own rules and regulations of what you want for your particular company. And sometimes you have a mission, value, uh, statements that you want to put out there on your company. Uh, you know, the mission, values, and vision of what you want for your company and in your future but we know things have to be tweaked along the way but one thing we don't want to do is sell stuff and we don't have a good comeback of or a plan in place where we do something with disgruntled uh consumers especially if it's a valid one you know so i kind of read also some of the responses that go naked hair whoever was doing their PR, or whoever was doing their uh, customer service, the stuff that they wrote, it's like, okay, somebody must not go to business school because it didn't really sound right. It just made the customer feel even bad about their purchase and that they weren't going to do anything about it. Now, as, as you can see, you can see the ratings we have on this particular person and her business. Well, rather, well it is her if she's going to put product out there. So it is her. Uh, you can't separate the two because they are the same uh, one and the same but I can see why I can see why Miss Lauren got out of the business if that was part of the reason it's because business wasn't being taken care of and when you get those type of ratings those type of grades you ain't going to get people you're not going to get people to endorse you and they're not going to talk good about your product and one thing I can say because I used to be in business myself soldier in this that and the third the best way you can win a person over is when you listen to their complaints and you do something immediately about their purchase that uh, somehow went south. And if you add a little something extra that's free, they would take in consideration with buying from you again. You see what I'm saying? You might not lose them the first time if you repair the damage that you did. You can get uh, them to come back and they can bring other people as well but it seems like at this time or at that time Portia didn't know what she was doing or she didn't have the staff that she needed to make things happen and correct uh, issues or concerns that the consumer had but I was like if it's still going on to this day then Portia you just need to um, not do any business baby because it's not looking good when you do crazy shit on TV and we don't understand it but then you're doing stuff with products and you making the masses of consumers upset with you stuff like that they would talk about the stuff that went wrong in a company versus they would talk about real quick fast in a hurry what went good in a company Okay, that's just rule of thumb. This is how the uh, ball is, the game is played when you own something and you're trying to sell it to the masses. Okay, and that's just like when you are working for someone else. They can, when it's time to get evaled or have an evaluation of your services from the year pending to the current, they can find if you don't really have a true manager or supervisor that really wants to see you win, they'll bring up stuff that happened to the first part of that year that scarred you from that point on until where we at now because they don't want to see you develop because you can chastise a person and correct them the uh, right way and they'll grow within that time period where you can just tell them you know when you made this mistake this that and the third I like how you saw you made that mistake and you kept building on ways of not doing that again and actually having more good things said about you from doing that and that's why you were put in that position because you had growth but you're not going to see that on your email that that one particular thing is written down and they said no they just verbally said it to you and gave you you know uh, a hand clap of praise because you went and did above and beyond than the incident that was negative brought against you at the top of the year and that's why they're rewarding you and that's a good supervisor or a good employer who values your worth but uh yeah Portia <sighs> yeah so we need you to do better 
with things of dealing with consumers because it can always come back and bite you in the butt. And one thing that people have that they didn't have a lot of when I was your age, that's social media, baby. That's social media. And giving them a platform to speak for you or against you. And trust and believe with the career choice that you've made, you need people to speak highly of you and value your worth. Uh, because like I said, you putting out bullshit, you're going to get bullshit results. All right. And you keep pulling out the foolishness, the fuckery, the fake fraudulent activity. You're going to get the foolishness, fuckery, fraudulent fakery back to you served up 10 to 12 times. Okay. And then you're not going to know which way to turn. So my thing to you, you may not like it. You may not agree with it, but maybe you should take some management classes. Okay. To how to better your uh, brand that you're trying to put out here. And then going back or going forward. You know, I know you and Dennis don't have the correct type of relationship that you want. Or you think you can't talk with him about business ideas. Maybe you don't trust him. That's why I said go to school. Learn about management and business and marketing. Um talk with some people that have been in the business that are in your career choice other celebrities how do they do their business and how do they get it to grow how did they uh, how did they manage dealing with hard customers okay people that was you know just really over the top about services that they felt you fell short on you know but like I said you know if you and Dennis can't come repair things to where y'all can co-parent and be f- uh, friends is a strong word at this time because like I said you think you got a millionaire the billionaire you're dealing with so he may not like you sharing so much but it, it, if it's about business and stuff of that nature you don't really give a fuck what he feels like okay because he can be gone today gone tomorrow gone next month but you still gonna be here trying to make it do what it do so a wise person would say I would lean on the understanding of others that have been in the same boat have been in that same situation and prevail so it would behoove you to get yourself together when it comes to uh, not liking your baby's dad. Okay. Get it together for you to be the best businesswoman you can be out here. So you can leave a legacy. So it wouldn't hurt you. It wouldn't kill you to just ask Dennis how did he deal with difficult customers or consumers. What is the right way? You know what I'm saying? Just just feel what he's saying. Uh Pick his brain here and there. Uh, because I don't know with Simon. He says he has all these things going on. But we haven't seen them yet. Now we've seen that he got an award from. Uh, shoot. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. Because I'll be trying to keep up with my family over there. I consider y'all family. Y'all don't act right half the time. But I do consider you to be family. Uh uh let's see where are we going with this Ooh, i just had it let me see maybe i got it in my photos uh let's see here shoot where did it go where did it go i just took it okay yes uh he got recognized by simply buckhead um they did a cover story on him uh i guess they feel him he's influent or maybe the pr people are working with him trying to go to these different businesses and talk with them about you know local people that are doing good things in the community i don't know if they had to pay a fee or get a subscription more than likely they did have to because Simon is so much not known in the community you know what i'm saying it's like we know from other people that may know him and what he have or what he's showing that he has but like i said i think he paid for this uh publicity because nine times out of ten, you usually have to. It's some kind of kickback that people want to put you on. You see what I'm saying? Maybe he got a subscription to their uh, paper or whatever. But they're uh, featuring him and Simply Buckhead this month. So, y'all check it out. And he got that same. Ooh, child. I t- where is his style? Okay, this is what we need to do. Portia, go on over there to your big sister house. Since she's fooling with a married man. But the man that she is fooling around with, he does a damn good job on making any man look good. But we're talking about the black man, the African man, the Liberian man. Uh, uh, go set up an appointment and um, 
make sure it comes out of Simon's budget or his account. Go dress that brother up uh, for when he's doing uh, local uh, pictures and, and, and uh, presentations with magazines, okay? Simply, Buckhead, put him out. And he had on that <sighs> paid pastel type jacket looking like Mr. Easter Bunny. You remember what I'm talking about? Oh, he got that jacket on. I'm like, who does this? If you want to be better, do better, look better, you got to look the part. You got to talk the part. You got to eat the shit up. You got to dream about it. You know what I'm saying? It has to be the first thing. Well, the Lord should be the first thing on your mind when you wake up. But depending on, you know, are you atheist or atheist or you just don't believe or, you know, whatever your beliefs are. Have that in your spirit. Where it fills you up. You see what I'm saying? Have that in your spirit to know you got to sell your brand every second of the day. And look presentable. Y'all, he got that little short two jacket on looking like Mr. Easter Bunny. With the pastel colors that he wore to Quad's birthday party. Same outfit. I'm like, we can't do this, Simon. We cannot do this. We need to look good when we're in public. We need to look good when we're doing um, presentations or interviews. We need to look good. That's why I'm going to make a video just for you today to show you by using uh, Bespoken, um, the scammer, Shaba Man, Shaba, uh, his apparel. Because one thing you cannot take from him, the brother knows how to dress and dress well. And he may not be carrying the Stacy Adams shoes or the flourishing I think it's one of my um one of my family members said flourishing I think that's how you call it it's a shoe company that makes damn good shoes too but you know maybe that's you know not your style or your shin we just need to go over there and show you some pieces of uh bespoken uh by Nayoni uh Senegal or something like that CO or uh, whatever okay we just call him Mr. Shabaman Scammer Mr. Shopperman, scammer, scammer. Chicka, chicka, chicka. See how I did that, y'all? But anyway, we're going to do a video uh, of that so we can get Simon in some real nice digs. I mean, it may be costing Simon an arm and a leg and maybe a tonsil, but we don't care. Uh, if he's going to be in our lives, if he's going to be on our platform, we need him to show up and show out, and we need him to be presented well when we're giving the optics. You see what I'm saying? But right now, he got this uh, too short jacket on, and he's probably laughing at him because this ain't good housekeeping. Something that's really, really been out there and recognized. This is a more so starter up type of magazine simply buckethead uh probably hadn't been around but for maybe a few years because I, I i ain't really heard of it and i've been running through uh buckethead a lot l not lately but when i used to work for piedmont hospital yes honey we used to go through the streets of buckethead and we get to see all different kinds of people you be seeing you know the locals at the tv stations and, and you know i met a, a, a couple of people that channel two channel they man five uh, so that's the hospital in Atlanta, uh, Piedmont, and Buckhead that you want to go to, and you'll see a lot. I saw Hank Aaron up there, got to talk with him, shook his hand, gave me an article, all that good stuff. So, yeah, when you're in the right place at the right time and you're humble, you can see a lot of people. And sometimes you don't really, because I never necessarily go up to them or whatever. I just say, hey, how you doing? You know, get in conversation because they want to ask you what floor a person is on and this, then, the third, and that, you know, you just be having a quaint conversation. Y'all remember that lady that played Grace on the Fire? I met her as well. Got an autograph from her. Very sweet woman. Very sweet woman. Uh, I forget I forget her name. But y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all ever watched Grace on the Fire. A uh, single mom trying to do what they do. And she's working in a male dominant type of employment. Uh, and trying to raise some kids on the side. But Google it. It should come up. But yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. I, ain't, I don't know what we're going to do because them eyelashes don't look too nice either. And I don't think she's wearing her own eyelash. I know my family be saying she ain't wearing her own hair either. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Portia got two brands of hair. One that's just, you know, really, really, really expensive and she just don't advertise it. And, uh, she sell it to, you know, or give it to, um, her ambassadors to wear. And, 
and hopefully it pans out and they want to do more business with her and then she's selling the other kind that's like for low income people or barely making it to the minimal people I, I mean I don't know I don't know what to say because you can't discount people when they write up reviews and they uh, grade you on products that they have been unsatisfied with and you have not uh, giving them a way of being redeemed by either giving their money back to them and an apology and maybe a free pack of hair. Uh, just showing that you did care. You didn't get to them in time enough or in the time frame that they wanted you to get with them. But you acknowledged them and you gave them, you know, like I said, a, a bundle of hair uh, that's of good quality. And you gave them their money back. And you sent a thank you card. You know, that would make me come back. Because I said, okay, she might be serving the masses, the millions or whatever. And I just, I was one that fell, unfortunately, through the cracks. But she's here to make amends because this is a good faith gesture uh, that she's given me with my money being returned. Some hair that I may or may not use, but it's okay. And then a letter to, to express how sorry they felt. Now, if you're not doing those basic things, Portia... I don't know what to say. I don't. I don't know what to say about your baby. Okay, because that's just piss poor. And don't think the Lord ain't looking at you either. But it just is what it is. Okay. But I hope y'all y'all enjoyed this particular video. Okay, because we want Portia to do better, be better, and serve the people better. Uh, uh, or she need to go on in the sunset with her glorified boyfriend and just live off him. Okay, because ain't no sense. Because you might meet somebody on the street that they didn't get settled with some hair or uh, your sheets or your boot that they're disgruntled with and you might find them coming up to you and approaching you i wouldn't do it because we know you, you're all about them hands <laughs> but if you did put uh if you did put hands on people you know that is an assault charge and then you're going to be back in for the county uh, courthouse or jail cell for the weekend or depending on what did happen on okay and somebody got to come bail your ass out but hopefully you've learned from that uh episode that you've had when you wanted to put people in check by putting their putting your hands on them hopefully you learn from that situation and you're going to go and do better okay because you are a mother you are a staple of the community whether you want to know it or not when you get put in that fishbowl of the entertainment world people do recognize you they can either hate you love you or be indifferent with you okay but one of those three things will happen so, okay, that's all I have on this video, guys. Like and love, we gotta have more. Y'all know where to come. And please share me out. Please subscribe to my channel. And like and share my videos. Okay, at the same damn time. Love you all. Bye-bye.